Another question that was asked in JM Economics paper of 2022 was like this. Monthly per capita consumption expenditure of 10 households in a region is given by. We are being given the monthly per capita consumption expenditure of 10 individuals here. H1, H2 up to H10. Okay. Assuming poverty cutoff, what we call poverty line of monthly per capita consumption expenditure to be 2000 rupees. That means poverty line is 2000 the squared poverty gap ratio is we have to find out the squared poverty gap ratio okay how do we find the squared poverty gap it is simply as we calculate the poverty gap uh, ratio as i have explained it in earlier video so i will put the, uh, the link of that very video also in the description box here so the formula is simple we have one upon n okay a summation of C less than Z to Q okay then we have Z minus C upon Z okay now what does this mean N denotes N is the total population total population in this case it is equal to 10 we have 10 individuals okay Q denotes the number of poor and how do we uh, know the number of poor uh, number of poor are those people whose income is less than uh, 2000 uh, to be precise whose monthly per capita consumption expenditure is less than 2000 okay that means number of poor in this case and Z denotes our poverty line okay what is uh, here uh, written as poverty cutoff P O V E R poverty cutoff. Okay. And C denotes the consumption expenditure. Uh, consumption expenditure of the poor people. Okay. Now using that very stuff here, we can calculate the squared poverty gap will be equal to so we have 1 upon n that means 1 upon 10 okay then summation of c is less than z to q that means firstly uh, first uh, if i write it like this so our z is equal to 2000 now uh, C denotes the consumption expenditure of the poor people and poor people are those whose monthly per capita consumption expenditure is less than 2000 so uh, which of the values that we need to take here any value which is less than 2000 will be the poor here uh, that means C so we have 2800 it is greater than this is also greater than 2000 so we have uh, 1200 we have 1400 we have uh, 1000 we have 900 we have 1300 okay these will be the value of c's okay so we have z is uh, 2000 so we can write it like this so in place of z i can write 2000 minus uh, then we have 1200 upon 2000 okay and we have to scare it plus taking another value z is same 2000 minus what is uh, another number that is 1400 1400 upon uh, the value of z is 2000 and we need to scare it plus then we have this thousand okay so let me write here 2000 minus thousand upon two thousand scaring this out also plus uh, we have this 900 so we have 2000 minus 900 upon 2000 scaring again this also and lastly we have this 1300 that means 2000 minus 1300 upon 2000 okay i hope i am making myself clear so how do we calculate we write one upon n and take the summation of 
this z minus c z so we have obviously square here i forgot to write it here and c denotes uh, the number of uh, persons whose consumption is less than z that means whose consumption uh, expenditure is less than 2000 okay just taking the squares uh, adding them up obviously so we have 1 upon 10 okay then we have now 2000 minus 1200 comes out to be 800 so we have 800 upon 2000 uh, squared plus and uh, this minus so other share this comes out to be 600 upon 2000 squaring plus we have 2000 minus 1000 comes out to be 1000 upon 2000 squared uh, plus we have 11,000 here sorry 1100 here uh, upon 2000 uh, square plus we have 2000 minus 1300 this comes out to be 7 I guess it is uh, 700 700 upon 2000 square okay so we can take these two zeros here so let me write it here we have 1 upon 10 we are left with here 88s are 64 64 upon uh, uh, 20 into 20 is 400 okay plus so here if I cancel these two zeros we have 6 6 is at 36 we have 36 upon uh, 20 into 20 is 400 okay I don't need to take these brackets here plus so let me write, use other color here so I have just cancelled two zeros here these two here two zeros here I will also cut the zeros okay so what we have been left with so we have 10 tens are is 100 upon 400 plus uh, 11 11 is 1 to 1 pay call kg we have 400 uh, plus uh, seven sevens are 49 upon 400 okay so this will come out to be so which implies we have 1 upon 10 now 49 1 to 136 and 64 uh, this will come out to be I have calculated it this comes out to be 370 upon 400 so cancelling these two we are left with 37 upon 400 which gives us if we solve this will come out to be 0 0.093 so our what we call squared poverty gap ratio is 0 0.093 three okay and we also say this is uh, the severity index okay poverty severity index it gives us the weighted sum of poverty gaps as a proportion of the property line and we sorry call it also the poverty severity index if uh, in place of this we have one this is the formula for poverty gap ratio if it is here two then it is the square root poverty gap ratio if it is zero here then we have head count ratio okay so this only depends what is the exponent of this very uh, stuff here okay i hope i make myself clear here thank you